Hey what's going on guys, today I'll show you how we can make this kind of auto sliding text in Elementor. Here we will make these two sliding text. The first one goes from right to left and this one from left to right. And you can also use this sliding text as a background of any section which makes your page design more creative. So without further ado, let's see how can we make that. So first of all in this blank page we need to create a new section. And in this section, we also need to take an inner section. So let's drag this to here. Here delete our this second column. We don't need this. So inside this inner section, first of all, let's take an heading widget and change its text. And here before styling this text, we will make this heading to full width of our this screen. So for this, first of all, Let's go to this section settings and from the content width make it to full width and here you also don't want this column padding so make the column gap to no gap and after that here this is our inner section so for this we also need to make this to full width okay but here we cannot see the editing handle so let's get the help with the navigator and we can see this is our inner section so let's make its content width to full width and column gap to no gap okay now we are able to make this heading to full width so after that let's go to this heading widget and from the style first of all i want to change its color to fully black and also want to change its typography let's make it to pop pins and make the font size to bigger font size 150 pixel and also font weight to very bold 900 so after this to make it a sliding text first of all we need to add a class with our this text so let's go to this inner section and from the advanced settings let's give the class name sliding text and then we need to write some code so for this let's take an html widget and drag this to here okay but here i want to place this html widget outside of this inner section so let's drag this above this inner section and also place this inner section above that okay so now let's go to this html widget and here we will paste some code and you can find this code from my video description you just need to copy this code and directly paste it to here and you can see this text has already started to sliding which is cool but here if you look at this text you can see there is no gap between the end of this text and the started of this so for this we need to go to this heading widget settings and go to the advanced tab and here let's give some padding on the right side so from the right side let's make 30 pixel of padding and now we can see the gap between this text okay so after that i want to make an another heading for this let's duplicate this inner section and here for this sliding text i want to slide this from the left to the right side so for this we need to go to this inner section settings and go to the advanced tab and if you look at this css class you can see we have previously used this sliding text class so after that we need to use an another class reverse and now if we click on update and go to our preview okay now we can see these two sliding text goes to the opposite direction of each other so let's go back to our this preview and here we cannot see it properly so sometimes when you cannot see it properly on your this editing preview you just need to reload your page so let's reload this okay now we can see it perfectly okay so after that here i want to show you another thing here for our this second heading let's go to this inner section settings and if we want to control the speed of our this heading we can also do that so for this let's go to the advanced settings and from the custom css here we need to write down this speed 
okay we have set it to 10 second if we make it to one second okay now we can see our speed has been much faster if we make it to 20 second now the speed looks much slower okay but if we want to make it to default you just need to clear this and after that here i also want to show you another thing here for our this heading i want to remove this fill color of this text i only want to keep the stroke so for this let's go to this heading settings and from this advanced tab here on the custom css we need to write down some css and by the way to use this custom css feature you have to have the elementor pro so if you didn't have Elementor pro you can quickly get this from my link on the description so let's paste the code to here and you can see this stroke text which looks really very cool so after that here i want to implement this sliding text inside one of our pages so here if we go to our this page here on this page i want to place this sliding text in the middle of this section so for this let's go to here and i want to copy this whole section so let's copy this to here and go at the bottom of our page and here i just want to paste it and as we use this inside our this section so i want to just drag this whole section at the top of our this section here and here first of all i want to reduce some space between these two text so for this let's go to this first inner section settings and at the bottom i want to use some negative margin from the advanced tab here for the margin make it to minus 40 pixel okay then we need to go to this section settings and we will make its height to fully zero so for this let's go to the advanced tab and go to the custom css and paste this code to here and don't worry about this code snippet i will give all of this to my website and give that code snippet link on my video description okay so let's then go to this advanced tab and here to place this heading to the middle we need to make some top margin to that section so let's make 200 pixel top margin and we need to give the same amount of negative bottom margin for this section so let's copy this and paste it to here with a negative value okay now this text goes at this middle section but you can see this looks too weird we need to make a light color for this heading so let's go to this heading widget settings and go to the style from the color let's reduce the transparency of the color to this and also apply this color for our this second heading so let's copy this color code from here and for our this second heading let's paste it to here now that looks great so that's how we can make this cool sliding text in elementor if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want me to help you for your workplace related project feel free to contact me through my website which is makedreamwebsite.com i'll try my best to help you thank you so much i'll see you on my next video